CT Physics and Imaging, a Guide for Technologists, Copyright 2021, written by Thaddeus Morris, narrated by Thaddeus Morris. Chapter 1, an overview of computed tomography. You pick the right profession. Computed tomography, or CT, is easily one of the most important scientific innovations of the last 100 years, not just medical innovations. CT is among the greatest in any area of science. The first CT scanners were head-only units that generated one image at a time over several hours. Today, some CT scanners collect over 300 slices of image data in less than one second. CT has become the backbone of imaging for acute stroke, trauma, cancer, and numerous other clinical considerations. Of special importance is the ability of CT to help diagnose internal pathologies that previously required exploratory surgeries. CT has literally saved millions of lives, and millions more have been made better by more accurate, timely, surgery-free diagnosis. Figure 1.1. Before CT imaging was available, this ruptured abdominal aorta may have required an exploratory surgery for affirmative diagnosis. The same was often true of other internal injuries like spleen fractures and appendicitis. Unlike traditional radiographs that produce two-dimensional images acquired from a stationary x-ray source, CT scanners create a three-dimensional volume of image data acquired from hundreds of positions around the patient. This means more radiation dose to the patients, of course but it also means significantly more information is available to make a well-informed diagnosis. Figure 1.2. The ability of CT to collect three dimensions of data also allows it to reformat the data into different imaging planes, such as coronal and sagittal. The data can also be reconstructed to display different tissue types, such as bone or soft tissue, after the scan is over. Not surprisingly, CT has created quite a niche in the world of diagnostic imaging. With the addition of contrast-enhanced imaging and the ability of the scanner to reform image data into multiple planes, CT scanning has become an important diagnostic tool across nearly all disciplines of modern medicine. Figure 1.3. These images show how CT imaging can be greatly enhanced by the use of iodinated IV contrast. Two large liver masses are poorly visualized without IV contrast. The masses and the other abdominal structures are more clearly defined with contrast. Imaging principles in CT. Some principles of CT imaging are actually very similar to general radiography, especially the idea of differential attenuation. As the x-ray beam spirals around the patient, a large fraction of the individual x-ray photons are absorbed by the body or deflected out of the scanner. The remaining x-ray photons pass through the body and help to create the digital profile of the patient's internal anatomy. The CT scanner detects and displays different tissues based on their linear attenuation coefficient, or LAC, which is the number representing the fraction of radiation attenuated that's absorbed or scattered by a material per centimeter. The scanner calculates the linear attenuation coefficient for all tissues within the scan field and converts these values to CT numbers or Hounsfield units. Highly attenuating materials such as bone and metal absorb a large fraction of the x-ray beam, have a large CT number, and usually appear brighter on the image. Materials such as air and fat attenuate very little radiation, have a lower or even negative CT number, and usually appear darker on the CT image. CT numbers are discussed in detail in Chapter 5. Tissue differentiation in CT imaging is entirely dependent on the linear attenuation coefficient for each tissue type, which is why contrast may be administered for certain diagnoses to enhance tissue differentiation. See Figure 1.3. The added attenuation of iodinated contrast compared to the surrounding tissue makes some structures more easily visible on the scan. General uses of CT. CT imaging is used for a wide range of clinical indications, from brain tumors to broken ankles, blood clots to bladder cancer, and just about everything in between. The list of CT imaging procedures in use today is virtually endless especially when radiologists and specialists must have their own special protocols. The most common CT examinations ordered across all medical imaging settings, inpatient, outpatient, ER, etc., include the following. 
CT head without contrast, CT abdomen and pelvis with contrast, CT chest with contrast, CT abdomen and pelvis without contrast for renal stones, CT angiography chest for pulmonary embolism, that's a PE, and CT cervical spine, usually for trauma. These six scans combined account for about 75% of all CT scans in the calendar year. In total, about 80 million CT scans are performed each year in the United States. Figure 1.4. CT head without contrast is the most common scan, and for good reason. Many brain pathologies, such as these hemorrhages, are quickly and easily identified with CT imaging. When windowed correctly, new bleeding in the brain appears bright white. 